Well, howdy doody, everyone. Tesla is at $666 and, I don't know, probably 66 cents. I mean, why not at this point? And the fact of the matter is, uh, there is this headline circling the interwebs that I have been asked about at least, like, two dozen times now about Tesla canceling their full self-driving upgrade. In fact, uh, let me show you that headline because when you see it, it's kind of like, wait a minute, what? Like, that's, that's not a good-looking headline at all. In fact, here it is. I'm not making up. It says Musk cancels Tesla's full self-driving update. Awaits further progress. Well, that doesn't sound good. That immediately freaks people out. Like, what? What? Tesla's canceling their full self-driving? They were just talking about expanding their full self-driving. Uh, and, and then you got to get past the picture here. And then last week, it seemed Tesla was planning a wider rollout of the company's FSD beta, an optional upgrade that would allow people to basically use the full self-driving. And, and, and the, the purpose of this is so that more people can beta test the fact that you're sitting there watching your car self-drive so the car learns better and if the car makes a stupid mistake, you're there to take over. And the article says here at the beginning of March, Elon Musk said the beta was in such high demand that a button would be added to Tesla vehicles in a few weeks to allow anyone that had purchased the FSD option to join the beta at will. Personally, I was excited about that button. In fact, I updated my car. I've already bought the full self uh, full self driving. I've got my Tesla chip, which I had to uh, actually take to a Tesla service station because my thing's older. It's a 2017, and they put in the new FSD chip, so I'll be able to have full self driving. Everything's gonna be great, and I was excited for this button. Uh, and now they're saying here, now Musk has taken back that timeline and said a rollout doesn't make sense right now as the system is undergoing significant architectural changes. The software is undergoing upgrades to use more cameras simultaneously, uh, simultaneously, oh my gosh, hello Kevin, uh, for better decision making. The radar will also not be required in future versions, which is something currently heavily relied on in Tesla and other manufacturer driver assistance systems. Okay. Uh, then they quote here, given the significant architectural changes, including fundamental improvements to pure vision, there is limited value to testing 8.x, hoping to upload version 9.0 and button next month. And then they say that the NHTSA is watching this rollout closely. Okay, so there's actually nothing in the article about full self-driving getting canceled. Nothing. There's literally nothing about the update getting canceled. The update is coming as planned. What happened is the button to download full self-driving was delayed because here's the really quick skinny version on this. Elon Musk on, and, and this is just, let's actually resort to the, the facts here. What actually happened? We can look at the actual tweets. If you want the full self-driving beta, download it to your car, let us know. Doubling the beta program. Now, with our version 8.2 and probably 10x the size in 8.3. But still be careful because the program's still in beta, right? We got Ross Gerber, the legend, replying here. I replied within 30 seconds of the post. Uh, and I even apply, uh, put a picture of my, my, my Tesla over here, hoping to get the darn thing. Because I would love to be able to show you all what I think about the full self-driving thing. But then the very next day, Elon Musk says, well, due to high levels of demand for the beta, we're going to add a button instead. So rather than us manually enrolling people, we'll add a button in roughly 10 days. Okay, then everybody got really excited for the button, right? Well, then if we go to around, I want to say it was the 19th. So it was a little more than 10 days, uh, but it was the 19th. So this is like three day old news. Like I I've already seen this tweet three days ago when I saw this headline about cancel. I'm like, what? They didn't cancel anything. Uh, so I was surprised they were referring to this thing about the button because it's not that big of a deal. But we are on Elon Musk's actual Twitter here. Uh, so if we go to the 19th, which is right here, and he tweets a lot, so we got some scrolling to do. Uh, we will see, here we go, given significant architectural changes, uh, including fundamental improvements to Pure Vision, there is limited value to testing 8.x, hoping to upload the V9 next month. Okay, so this has nothing to do with canceling full self-driving. Literally nothing to do with canceling the full self-driving update. In fact, the full self-driving update is still happening. We're still going from 8.2 to 8.3. Elon Musk is just simply saying the opportunity for people to opt into this beta is getting delayed until they have their next massive update, which is still planned and always was planned for next month. So it's like the 9.0 update 
isn't even delayed. It's still planned for next month. The only thing that got delayed was the opt-in button. That is very, 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 very different from Musk cancels Tesla full self-driving update awaiting for the progress. Like, come on, you can't say that. People just, I don't like, like, the, and, and the, the thing is, like, I get it. Like, it's very clickable, right? But right here, right up front or anywhere in the article, it should say Elon Musk is delaying people's ability to opt in. It actually doesn't say the word cancel one time within the article. There's nothing about cancellation in the article. <laughs> All it is, is referring to this delay of the button, but there's not even a delay of the update. So I wanted to clarify that. So if you see that and you're like, oh my God, what's happening? Here's Elon Musk screwing up again. It's wrong. It's just wrong. Okay, sorry. Pissed off Tesla investor here. Yeah, call me out on the bias, but you can look at the facts yourself and I don't think you can really disagree with that. Thanks for watching. Bye.